okay so some students are saying uh, uh, they have got less marks in gate exam so they will not join third generation iit or it's like uh, they are comparing first generation iit and third generation iit so see one thing first of all this bullshit you should remove from your mind sorry i am not saying to all students some people are thinking that a third generation iit is zero so for them i am telling you you come to iit dharwad this is third generation iit but believe me you will not get degree here for free it's not like okay okay uh, somehow you have got less, less uh, gate score and you have come to iit dharwad so take this is your welcome degree you join you enjoy here you enjoy the electricity wifi free I, I mean mess food and all everything and uh, you you take the degree and please thank you you came to iit dharwad it's not like that okay every iit is having their set of rules and regulations every professors are uh, working for your best future every professor is guiding you in detail and you are going to work hard equally the way person sitting in iit bombay iit kanpur iit khadakpur the first generation iit the second generation iit and you know what advantage advantage of uh first generation iit definitely you can say that there are so many advantages but i'll tell you one best advantage of third generation iit the professors professors are here especially i am talking about my iit iit dharwad professors are like you don't have to uh, text them sir i need i need to meet you for something something you just directly go to their office they will be talking to you like a friend they have sufficient time for you they are giving you enough time even though they are busy it's not like professors are free they are playing badminton they are playing cricket no 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 professors are also loaded with their own hard work their own work their own like whatever government has given them a set of rules they are also following every professor in every iit there we have a set of rules we are following the rule okay and it's it's not like you are getting a less gate mark gate score and uh, you are uh, you are joining uh, third generation iit like and you will be thinking that uh, no 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 you should have the third second mindset that no no i am in bad iit or why should i join, join third generation iit or i should prepare one more year for gate exam or this that okay see here and one more thing you may be thinking that uh, uh, like many students are asking sir uh, in your iit in your iit companies are coming or not for placement and all listen man even if boeing airbus or other companies will come to my iit if you are not capable they will kick you out okay it's not about companies are coming or not of course one thing is definitely okay if companies are coming it will be easy for you to uh, approach the companies but they, I, there are so many examples i know personally from iit kharagpur iit bombay that stud iit bombay i am including students are joining the company uh, not through the campus selection separately they, they are joining the company from outside they are going like walk in interview separately they, and they are getting job because they are capable so see understand the point here what is this third generation iit third generation iit is just this name third generation it does not mean it comes at third place i will tell you why i am saying this it's not like i am the student in third generation iit i had chance to join iit mandi also I'll leave that discussion come to the main point third generation iit or first generation iit they have a set of syllabus professors are guiding you for the syllabus in classroom your duty your job is to complete that syllabus if you are not a proper properly uh, uh, if you are not the proper hard working student then you guys uh, will not get job no doubt see professor will not tell you to uh, anyone that uh, he this guy is very good for for in my case this guy is very good this he he sing he is singing also he is participating in different different uh, so please give professors will please give him job professors will not do this okay job should be given only to the capable person because you are going to be the employee in a company so company should be uh, running in profitable way because of you if you are doing your job you should be capable of giving profit to the company then only company will give you salary you are not you you have no idea what is matlab you have no idea what is cfd you don't know any languages and all even though after 2 years of your master degree uh, you are not capable of coding something what what is given in your interview and you are thinking of no job no job who will give you job if you are not uh, being profitable for the company okay in same way third generation second generation for, there are so many examples people are not uh, people are not getting jobs uh, from second generation iit from first generation iit so so what is the general conclusion here general conclu conclusion is whatever is your gate rank if you are getting chance to join iit in your interested branch you join that 
okay in your interest suppose you are mechanical engineer and suppose you want to uh, work on turbo machinery and you are not getting that turbo machinery thing in uh, just an example i am saying in any uh, uh, like uh, any first generation iit and someone is pinching you that uh, no man if you are not getting uh, the first generation iit then prepare one more year for get and join the third generation iit so see it's up to you okay if th this mindset if, if you have it's up to you okay it is not at all about first from my side it is not at all about first generation or third generation third generation iits are being open it's not like free government has money and uh, uh, some uh, these things that are okay okay open one more iit open one more iit and okay come please come to the iit and okay i will give you a job no it is iit all iits are having same standard now i'll tell you one more thing when <coughs> of course like you can compare iits because of their campus like what is the area that is different kind of comparison you can compare the iit based on their food what they provide in their mess that is a different criteria see all professors whoever are are being recruited in iits to teach us all professors are gem of their department get the logic so it's up to you it's up to you how nicely you can learn from them definitely they are teaching they are doing everything what what is done in different iits for example a first generation iit are also having professors a third generation iits are also having professors so now what i am saying all the professors are gem of their department of their subject okay now if you are come if you are a very bad student and you are joining the third generation iit bad means you don't have good good grade score based on that i am saying not in some other way you are joining third generation iit so it's up to you because your gate score is not good then two things are there either you are a weak student or you are a good student but you did not perform well in gate exam so if you are a good student and you are coming to the uh, third generation iit then definitely here you can improve in your during your master degree because professors are excellent man and you know this is the advantage of third generation iit that you can like i used to talk to my professors uh, whenever i want uh, uh, any guidance i directly go to and i meet them and they give me they never say that uh, uh, okay we'll we'll talk for 10 minutes or 15 minutes like whatever i want to talk they will talk and of course i don't talk roughly some in anything else whatever i want to discuss uh, i will filter all my doubts uh, in my hostel itself and before going to professor i will organize summarize my doubt properly and i will go and in front of professor i will discuss sir this is my problem this is my problem i am not getting this and he will guide me properly and i don't even see before you join the iit before you join the iit you will be having this mindset right in like iit professors this that man they are the coolest person on earth really believe me they will they will be treating you like uh, of course i can uh, say some more better work like like a guardian here they are your second guardian in a, uh, at iits okay so i will suggest you whatever iit you are getting that iit you join okay and one more thing if you are thinking that uh, a third generation iit i will join and uh, later again i will prepare for gate exam and i will shift to a better iits no these all things are rumors see i'll tell you in iit whatever iit you are i have my students they are sitting in several iits first generation second generation third generation i used to talk to them all the students used to share almost similar thing they all have their academic workload i am not saying in negative way they all have their proper uh, properly designed academic load they are following their uh, curriculum right and they are being passed they are being failed they are improving everyone is doing the same thing okay now in first generation second generation third generation in some iits so many companies are coming in some iits less companies are coming okay but problem is if you are a capable person then you will get the job for sure if you are capable person you will get the job for sure if you are not capable person then of course if i will suppose if i am a company and if i am going to any third tier private college in india somewhere i will not pick you and in that private college also if you are capable if you are going through the interview process everything is good i will pick you and or if i feel that right now this person is not well capable but it it seems like uh, if he will come into the job if he will become an employee then he will improve then i'll give you the job right so 
when you are choosing the iit you should choose on what basis you should have a very clear picture see man don't even think that you will be getting degree in free of cost if you are studying in a third generation iit third generation iits are having more responsibility okay because they have to bring their students up to that level that ranking should go up so believe me all the professors all the welfare committee like everyone is doing fabulous here in third generation iits and of, of course i am taking reference of my own iit so uh, here because, because i am seeing here and you know i am seeing rs people here research scholars here i am seeing mtech people here beat they uh, students they have their own genuine work they are doing it okay 24 into 7 they used to involve into that professors are actually supportive so i i hope you got the idea that it is not about third generation and and one more thing some students are thinking sir uh, i'm getting calls based on my calls and based on my class students discussion i am making this video so i want to filter your mind uh, so some students are saying sir after gate exam uh, if i'm getting low mark should i go for job internship or i should one one, one more time i i should prepare for gate exam or what what should i do so see actually see if your vision is not clear about become iitian in that case some other things are there some other troubles or family issues they will be dominating in your mind so you may be thinking that okay i have money problem economical crisis is going on so i should go for the job so if you are going for the job because of economical problems then that is different thing but if you have two choices and background is same like you don't have money problem suppose suppose you don't have money problem and now you got opportunity from your college to go to job and you got opportunity to prepare for gate or join some uh, new third generation iits see third generation iit 3 is coming it doesn't mean that iit ranking is third so remove this from your mind okay better start saying this a new generation iit latest iit okay so in latest iits there are so many advantages also so i will tell you that uh, uh, if you are willing to go for the job and your background is okay like your family is having good money good income they can support you so you you join iit because see in india still like i am talking to you like a friend i am saying in india still this iit tag matters a lot whatever job opportunity you are having now of course in after 2 years you, that job opportunity will again be there but if you will join the job in the beginning itself then becoming iit and this opportunity you may lose in future so i hope some rough idea is working in your mind so don't risk, don't disrespect any new generation iits new generation iits okay i hope it's clear so currently my name is vikas kumar shrivastav i am pursuing my ms from iit dharwad okay and i think whatever i am telling here you will be agree with this and i am very confident about my words and this video i am especially making for those people who are misguiding or misleading students and saying that no 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 third generation iit you don't go uh, it's better you go to job or something something no 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 this is totally misleading things okay already you have done and one more thing suppose you are a ug guy from your btech th third tier college like that college no one knows suppose Uh, you are from that kind of college that it is only famous in your 5 km area 5 km radius area that kind of college like more than college a supermarket is famous in your area so if you are from that kind of college then especially you should not bother about third generation or these kind of things if you can do better from your college then believe this iit is far better than your college so from here you will be getting another platform to grow okay and one more thing like again i am repeating the same thing professors are gem of their department of their subject it's up to you whether you are capable of learning from them or not imagine you got the lowest score uh, but somehow because of some technical advantages you got seat in a first generation iit but you are a weak student you have no idea of softwares like i am learning lot of softwares suppose you have no idea of softwares properly and lot of things you don't know 
in that case what will you do because suppose you got seat in iit bombay so what will you do? you will learn that right you will learn that whole day and night and you will improve yourself and then you will get the job so it is not because of iit it is because of you so new generation iits are having another advantage that your professors will be will always be available like at, at least in our case i am seeing my masters uh, mtech uh, friends and ms friend phd friends so professors are supportive like anything man like a home, like you remember in our childhood days we used to do home tuition or something they are actually helping at that level like a private tuition level they used to help so if you can't grow in this kind of atmosphere then how do you believe that you will grow in uh, some uh, odd atmospheres this is the best best atmosphere here and everything is depending finally on your own skill if a company is coming in my iit dharwad and i welcome all the companies we have good engineers here you come and you see all the companies and so if I, iit is coming in, in in my company and they are in need of matlab student and suppose you had matlab in your uh, pg course but you did not practice matlab properly how will you code matlab right in the interview and then you will say that uh, uh, third generation iit no campus selection this that right all the rumors will go from your family to your relatives then finally this that but no one will claim that in the beginning itself you were weak student and you did not grow you even though you had chance to grow in the iit but you did not grow so whose mistake is this okay so there are so there are so many criterias based on that every iit is having their own advantages and if you are going to first generation iit in first generation iit first of all you have to be a very good gate score like that you, you should have a very good gate score if you have a gate score then this video or this discussion is not for you this video this discussion is for that student who is having less gate score and getting a third generation iit there is chance that he or she can get less generation iit but some people are misleading them because they are like i hope you got it so if you if you have confused for something you just comment in the video and if that is genuine comment i will reply and if that is rubbish comment i will delete the comment okay thank you